everyone it is sunday and i am so annoyed because the food that i bought yesterday last night i only ate one little square of the quesadillas and there were three left and i forgot to put them in the fridge so you know we love that the cheap that leads are good usually the cheaps tend to go like soggy but they're good um i also got an amazon package because I needed to buy I literally to be honest I got a little bit scared yesterday how hot my apartment was when it was only 60 degrees outside purchased this little fan that you can have it in different positions so I can put it on like my desk I can send it over my room like I can just move it around and this was $30 but if you wait for the summertime they like jack up the prices because people are looking for <laughs> fans and stuff like that so i just wanted to be safe and purchase one all right guys i am opening this is literally the fan look how cute and compact it is oh it's like a tripod but like a fan okay this is cute the only downside of this is like this is a cable oh supposed to left for 24 hours a battery i didn't know that that's even better okay Hi everyone, I am running fucking late because I could not fall asleep yesterday. I fell asleep at like 3 a.m. and it's currently 7.20. I'm so late. I also need to drop off my my Poshmark order. Never been to California, never been to LA. So I stay home and write these songs, pretend I'll make it someday. My friends are getting married, they're all settling back. So all they hear is the same thing. I'm joking. I don't always feel so good when I'm like in a like the things I need to have done. Um, I saw this mini skirt. I bought it like COVID times. Clearly never fucking used it. So someone bought it. So I'm gonna be shipping that That's out. this like t-shirt from old navy my jacket shirt is from zara my jeans are american eagle why is it falling off work. So, i lost my favorite sunglasses that i've ever gotten from amazon so i reordered them there we go okay so these are the ones that i had i don't know what the fuck happened to them i don't know where i put them no idea because i usually put them on they're so beautiful love them i think i used to have the brown ones these ones are the black ones but i love 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 they were literally 12 dollars, and that's why i don't buy expensive sunglasses because even though yeah they're better quality i'll be losing these motherfuckers and i'll be wasting my money <laughs> oh these are beautiful oh oh they fit perfect yes and you also get a little baggie to put them in and a cleaner so they're great for twelve dollars. Mm, I love these ones actually a lot. All right, I just put my hair up because I just uh, did it. But I got Wingstop, which I actually have never had before. Oh, these ones are looking good. Hmm, they're sweet interesting 
They put more chicken tenders than I pay for, so that's good. There's nothing special about them. The fries are really good. They just look like regular chicken tenders. And the fries, really good. They're a little bit sweet. I got honey mustard, which I don't like. But I wanted to try a dressing. Wingstop doesn't have like their own sauce. Anyways, all of this was very affordable. It was $13. If you order our food, you know how everything is so fucking expensive for $13 and it's honestly pretty good. I'll fucking take it. I want to do a review of the clothes that I tried on. Um, this dress, I think I'm going to return it. It looks really ugly on me. It doesn't look like how I thought it was going to look. Like it's not as flowy as I thought it was going to be. So I think I might be returning this one. Old Navy had one that I really liked. So I might be getting the one from Old Navy. This said, super cute. I got this size XL on the top. I can definitely go down with the medium. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't super tight. And then for the shorts, they fit perfect. I do have to say this one's run smaller than American Eagle. I feel like large usually runs like they even look small and because they have a lining on the inside it just makes it a little bit fitted just keep that in mind they fit me but i wish i would have gone the xl on this one's for sure this bikini fit me perfect i do have to say the bottoms are a little bit big not big but a little bit loose but i know if i went with a large they would be digging into me so you know there's no happy medium but I really like them. They look really cool. And then the bottoms is the opposite of my other bikini. They're small and tight, which is fine. But yeah, um, keep that in mind for this top. For the bottoms, they all fit beautifully. This, I do wish I would have gone a large, but the XL fits so cute. And it just looks so nice and flowy. I am obsessed. And then if you roll them, they're fine. I'm obsessed with these. Love them. These lion pins. I do wish I would have gone a regular XL because I want to wear them more low waisted. But if I fold this in, it looks really cute still. And they're a little bit better on the length. Um, but I think I want to buy more of these. And then the sweatpants. <laughs> Literally, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I can't even like oh that hurts. Anyways, the sweatpants, I'm wearing them right now. Um they're they're so much they're so worth the whatever the fuck they cost. Like 80 bucks, whatever, I don't even know. They're so soft. They're buttery soft. I don't even know how to describe it. I literally put them on like it went into a cloud. So Aritzia sweatsuits, I know they're expensive, but they're worth the price that they charge you. Here you go. Good morning, everyone. It's so early. And I've been awake for like a few. I've been awake for a few hours now. I think I woke up at like 6 a.m. I'm going to do this little claim that my grandma always used to do to me and my siblings when we will stay over. It is like a corn, I'm not to say it in English, meal situation. Um, my sister sent me the recipe, but she forgot to put, she gave me the ingredients and how to start it. But then after that, she forgot to tell me like how it's supposed to look like when it's about to be done. Like how long do I need to stir after I put everything together? Like she didn't give me no information, no timing, no nothing. So I tried last time and I'll show you. I need to put this This is kind of what I ended up with, which is the right color and somewhat of the right texture but underneath is very liquidy and that's just not how it's meant to be so i think i need to put more corn whatever it is let me see yellow cornmeal this is what i maybe this is not the right thing i don't know this is what i bought from target um so we're gonna try that today because i'm very hungry and i'm craving that really bad so we're gonna try to cook it and hopefully this time it's gonna turn so much better <laughs> And then the last thing for today, it is my hair. My hair is disgusting. It literally smells bad. But I haven't, I haven't washed it because I was waiting for my hair dye to get here. Uh, we're going back to blue black. And you can't really tell here, but in the lighting, my hair is like red, like cherry red. 
color but it is time to go back to black and embrace the darkness the darkness again see the mess honestly that's not that bad of a mess but um i can use a wide angle so you can see more of what's going on um and before we start we need to clean because this is what i used the other day it's funny just how easily literally broken and there's just sugar everywhere like i really want to vacuum but it's too early to like fully vacuum the floor so we're just gonna do this and hope for the best finally getting married to an angel in human form but i still think about nashville with stain I need to do some math. Okay, got the ingredients and the measurements. Have to do some math, but we're back. So this is my measurements. This is four, this is two, equals six. Six ounces. I have my milk, which is evaporated milk. Nestle Carnation is the best one. I think they sell smaller ones, so next time I'm gonna buy the smaller six ounces because this one's 12 and I don't know if I can save this to use later. We got salt, we got cinnamon for on top, we got sugar, which I think I needed to put a little bit more last time. And then we have our corn thingy, regular milk, and water. So we're going to start putting our milk in. And I'm going to really try to do this. I wish I had a... There's like something that you can put on the milk. Like it makes like a hole, but I don't know. I don't have it. So I got that, and then you have to do two spoons of sugar. I'm gonna do three because last time it was like missing. I'm already fucking it up. <laughs> Why Finally, get it married to an angel in human form, but I still think about Nashville with staying. Tastes so fucking good. Look how beautiful it is. And now, let me just put you guys right here. We just need to add cinnamon Oop. on top, and then you put it on the fridge because you want it to create. Oh. You're gonna put it on the fridge for like a few minutes because you want it to create like a little like skin on top, and then it's gonna be cold on top, warm at the bottom. <gasps> It's to a new level. I guess it is what it is. I'm just gonna eat this, let's watch some YouTube videos, and then we're gonna tackle my closet and my bedroom, and then we're gonna do my hair, shower, and edit. That's the plan for today. Just a chill Sunday, you know? Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna try and show you what I said about the little. I don't know if you can see. You see how it has like a little layer? I need to take a picture of this because this is... Alright, I can show you better. This is how it looks. Do you see how it has like a layer? See that? Yes, that's what you want. Let's try it. Oh my god. Delicious. Tastes just like my grandma's. It is a little bit liquidy. The one my grandma makes a little bit more sturdy so i might leave it on the fridge i'm gonna leave it on the fridge for a little bit more but i killed it all right guys this is what i was talking about 
all this was in the floor here and in the floor of my closet. I put it all out and we're gonna have to organize this. My closet, these jeans don't fit me. These I'm keeping, I need to go through these ones. But like the whole top part is empty so there's space and then I need to clear this out. So let's see how long it takes us. It's like 9 a.m. or 8 something. But this is a lot. There's a lot in here. <laughs> Using the color charm by Wella, which is what the one that I used to me permanent color in blue black. Alright, I cleaned my face a little bit and I been with the dye on my head for about for about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go and take a shower, which is very needed after cleaning the clothes. On my bedroom which actually I haven't shown you so i have all of this right here is for me to do videos because it's new clothes i have dirty clothes and then if you go into my room everything's organized in piles that so you need to put it in the closet where they belong but you guys saw how big that pile was i need to clean all of this too this is like my setup but i think oh you can see I'm so excited to have black hair again. You have no idea. I have officially taken a shower. As you can see, all the blackness or the dark dye kind of got removed. I can kind of see it right there. But I'm very excited to like blow dry my hair and see how it looked. My shampoos are not super color hair friendly because i have really dry scalp and i have to use specific shampoo that's very intense and it will strip the color away um and then my other <laughs> shampoo that i use it because it smells good it is kind of like a clarifying shampoo um it's probably not the best shampoo to use when you dye your hair my hair is feeling pretty dry My haul smells like wet dog, and I also have a package from Amazon that I need to pick up. So, hi everyone. I'm currently watching um, Honey Boo Boo on Wee TV. I know it's kind of like trash TV, but I love Honey Boo Boo. Um, her mom is honestly horrendous, as we everyone agrees on that. Um, but anyways, while we do that, I kind of want to wear these pants tomorrow. They're the H&M jeans that tie in the front. But they're very oversized and they're kind of short on me by like an inch. So I'm going to undo the seam at the bottom. I might regret this, but it is what it is. Because, oh, this is like fully finished. I'll be fine. Um, Because I feel like when I do this, it's going to be like the perfect length. Y'all, I wanted to show you my hair. Like, I just, um, I just did the waiver and this is gonna fall down once I go to bed. But, um, hello. I think it looks like a fucking wig and this is my hair. It's just pitch black. I love it so much. I think it looks so good. I give it a 10 out of 10. It looks from the back. Black hair is superior, period. Mm -hmm. 